Oh, hi. It's Yoda Chronicles time. So, my second most previous video, is that how you phrase it? Got a lot of views for whatever reason. Why is that exactly? I'm gonna say it's because it was about a Yoda themed piece of Star Wars media from my childhood. So, let's talk about another one. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Yoda Chronicles. And of course, by Yoda Chronicles, I mean the classic trilogy, not episodes 4 through 7, because those ones are disgraceful and should be stricken from the Yoda Chronicles canon. Can't believe Disney ruined my childhood like this. I watched them, and I remember liking them at the time. How are they? They're fine, but that's not what we're focusing on today. Today, we're going to be focusing on... Do they fit into the Star Wars timeline? These specials were obviously created to coincide with the LEGO Star Wars toy line. This means that whatever characters are featured in it were also probably in the LEGO Star Wars toy line of the time. So, they were trying to tie into, you know, what was going on. And I think what was going on was they were making some Episode 2 sets and some, uh, clone and, you know, Clone Wars sets. Probably others, but this was set during the Clone Wars. It was about some of Yoda's adventures during the Clone Wars that we just never saw for whatever reason. But, because of this... They end up conflating different eras of the Clone Wars. Anakin and Obi-Wan have their designs from Episode 2. Anakin has his Padawan braid, meaning that he has not been knighted yet. That, that makes sense, right? Okay, that's all well and good, but it doesn't mesh with the fact that Darth Maul is here with his robot legs. Why exactly? I don't know, it's, they're conflating different eras of the, of the Clone Wars, like I said before, because that's what was going on in the toy line at the time. On top of that, Maul is working with Dooku and Sidious, which is like the opposite of his arc in the Clone Wars. That doesn't make any sense. And he's working with Ventress too? <laughs> Isn't the whole reason Maul was here in the Clone Wars because uh, Sidious and Dooku wanted to get rid of Ventress, and so they recruited Savage Opress, who got Maul? Who, by the way, Savage Opress isn't here? Is that how you pronounce Savage Opress? I don't know. He's savage and he oppresses people. There is a kid that looks like him in their Sith slash Battle One Academy. Um. In episode 3, Attack of the Jedi, but I'm not sure that counts. It doesn't sound like him, it doesn't look like him, and he's being taught by Maul, which doesn't make any sense at all. On top of that, working with the bad guys, including Maul and Ventress and Dooku and Sidious, are Sith Troopers! From the Old Republic era, I've got one of them right here. Here's a figure because I own too many Legos. This was supposed to tie in with the MMORPG, The Old Republic. Um, but it's just, that's thousands of years before the events depicted here. Also, even though this is after Maul has gotten his robot legs in the Clone Wars, the clones are still in phase one armor, which doesn't make any sense. They're in armor that looks like... They're in armor that looks like this, and not closer to, like, I don't know, this. The Sith clones, you could argue, have something kind of resembling phase two armor. But as you can see here, the eyes are different and the grill is different and it's very different from the actual phase two armor. Whatever. I don't know. That tangent about the phase two trooper armor doesn't really matter the timeline. But you know what does matter the timeline? The fact that there is another battle of Geonosis. Yup. It's only combatants where some Padawans, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Yoda, um, 
and the droid, C-3PO and R2-D2, including C-3PO flying a starfighter for some reason, and they take Geonosis. Is this... Is this supposed to be like the second battle of Geonosis? Because that was a completely different event that Ahsoka was present for. Ahsoka isn't present in this series. I, I guess she's either not here yet, or this is supposed to be after she's left the Jedi Order. So is this supposed to be a second battle of Geonosis? That takes place before the now third battle depicted in the Clone Wars? Well, I watched one of those episodes... And they just kind of talk about it like it's the second battle. They're not like, hey, remember that time when C-3PO flew a starfighter during the second battle of Geonosis? Well, now we're back there a third time. Side note, in those episodes, they pronounce Geonosians kind of like Geonosians. And for a second, I think I'm watching X-Men. Plus, within this, they somehow perfect instant cloning technology. Yeah, instant cloning. Like, it takes, like, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, and you've got a brand new clone soldier. Yeah, they come out one at a time, but... I mean, that's a serious time saver. On top of that, the armor is cloned. So, that's saving a fortune, like, manufacturing. If this is before the majority of the Clone Wars, uh, as shown in the CGI Clone Wars show, as Anakin, Obi-Wan, and the clone's designs would suggest... Then, why don't they use instant cloning? Why in the Domino Squad episode, the first episode, chronologically in that arc, are they like, hey, we have to stretch Jango Fett's DNA to clone these guys, and they have to be, like, trained and everything, and it's like... This is more like cloning in the old expanded universe, now Legends. But in that one, the clones went crazy, so... I, I don't even know. This seems like the best case scenario for cloning, and yet it's never brought up again. However, there may be a way to reconcile these inconsistencies with the existing Star Wars canon we have. Okay, during a chase in Episode 3, Attack of the Jedi, Grievous says... I saw this work in the movie once. So, does that mean that the Empire Strikes Back is a movie within the Yoda Chronicles? Now, we're gonna come back to that. The idea I'm proposing here is that the Yoda Chronicles episodes, episodes one through three, the original trilogy, of course, are the true Star Wars canon, and everything else is an in-universe piece of fiction. My idea is that they use Force sensitives to predict the future, I mean, obviously the predictions aren't going to be perfect, because they never are, um, accounting for the inconsistencies. And then they make, like, movies and TV shows about them, animated TV shows, and these account for the inconsistencies. There are going to be certain things that they don't make into TV shows or whatever, and there are going to be certain details that are wrong. It's based on true events, but with some alterations. The Yoda Chronicles is the one true Star Wars canon. Oh, hey guys. I thought I'd do the outro down here with my cat today. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, remember to stay safe, like, and subscribe. Don't get the Rona. Black Lives Matter. Cool.